up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D-Boss. Check this video by Fanatic Mixes. This is NBA Reporters Asking Stupid Questions Part 3. I did Part 1 and Part 2. And yeah, these reporters is wild. They be asking them the most random things. It's like, what, what are you talking about? So anyway, let's see what stupid questions they ask on this compilation. Let's watch. Starting at the podium. Lucia Pinichos from Argentina. I know the end of the year. Too bold of you. Did Steve Kerr say he couldn't make it in the NBA today because both teams are absolutely amazing? What do you think about that? And how do you see yourself playing in the 90s? In the 90s? Mm -hmm. What? How? In the 90s? I was born in 85. I don't know. <laughs> you were born in the 90s. Though. Sure. I was born in 89. Really? Oh. I can't answer that question. No question. Sports Radio 610. Got it, James. Thompson, three. Say what? If I ask a fashion question, we talk about three. Well, you ask a question, then I'll give you an answer. What's your favorite shoe brand? Shoe brand. Jordan, obviously. Damn, what's breaking out with the shit? Explanation on those games against They played better. You don't think they're better than your team, though, right? Sure they are. They just beat the hell out of us twice. Does that mean we're better? That's a silly question. How, how, how smart would I look if I said, no, we're better than they are? Is that what you were hoping I would say? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Russ, you've had um, multiple pe multiple players come out. Um, I'm sorry, I'm so nervous. Let me come back. <laughs> nervous. <laughs> you fucking fanboy. Hey, Russ. Um, you you had a guy like Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> oh, five games, five blowouts. To us who don't really know the the game, how do you explain that? <laughs> You're serious. <laughs> You really think I can explain that? In simplest terms. You can't be shady. And he called it I know you can. I'm gonna walk. Question is, will you? Damn, they be trying to play games. Good lord. He not with the shit. They pay you, don't they? They pay very you. little. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> That's it's why it's not up there. <laughs> So that's why they actually wearing their jersey when they're coming out to play. How frustrating is it for you to keep composure in that moment? In that, in that, in that. What? How hard is You're it? You're serious. I'm... Anybody else got a question? Makes any sense? Mm. Is it... Does that not bother you? Anybody? Not you? a lick. Why would it bother me? It doesn't bother you that someone's not wearing their jersey when they're on the court? You talk about Lonnie defense progressing in that capacity. How, how has he come along on fire as your uniform coordinator at the end? No, I don't know why you guys even care about that. It's silly. You can ask me about the color of somebody's shoelaces next or something if they don't tie their shoes. Jeff, you put the uh, boys from Tinseltown really through the heebie jeebies Wednesday night. How did it feel to play the one and really be on the trolley back in your hometown? Uh, it was good. You know, just. Uh... A lot of guys out there. First, first game as you know, with some new faces on our team. So uh, for us, it was just you know trying to come away with the win. Uh, it didn't happen, but uh, we got another opportunity today. Is this going to be a good one? Um, I'd like to leave on a happy note here. He don't hear a lot. <laughs> After getting my butt kicked, so. go ahead. Um, circumstances always different every game, every series. Kawhi's well, that's good. I agree with that. Injury, Kawhi, Kawhi's injury being kind of foremost among that. But for the Warriors to start 12 and 0, is this going to be a long question? Because if I it think is, it, I think it already is, but it's not going to be much longer. <laughs> 12, 12 and 0 in the playoffs. How impressive is that to you? Really impressive. Not really, really. What? Anybody else have a question that makes right. sense? And I'll be happy to answer it. How impressive is Tom and Noah? Um, it's impressive. What, what the fuck you want me to say? What kind of wine are you going to have tonight? Bye. I'm just trying to smoke you had in the block. They be trolling him. Um, what do you want me to say? Whatever you want to say. It's just more of 
Just the build up leading to that play, what you were seeing and your thought process with everything. Um, Patrick threw me the ball. I took a two dribbles to the paint and tried to jump high and dunk the basketball. <laughs> and Kimba got open for a three and I jumped my highest to try to contest and I got a ball. What do you think of the perception from some media members that Tony Allen's in your head? Is that just an overreaction to one game? What's your take on that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kevin, uh, you had. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot my question. I won't waste your time. It happens. Look Damn! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel you, bro. I'm sorry. Man. I forgot to play. I got, got a couple plays in there. Uh, from Australian TV. There's a lot of excitement at home because of the, uh, the Australian involvement in this game. What different difference do we bring to the to the game? Do you think as, as players? And also, lots being said about Delhi being dirty. Are, are we tough players? Is that what we're all about? Can you play ball? <laughs> Not on your nelly. Oh no. man, I was going to ask coach to pick you up. We need another Australian on our team. Uh, uh, I love our question. I love our Australian that we have. I love Delhi. What he brings to our team is just brings toughness and grit, determination, and just trying to beat all the odds. Don't well, um, try to take credit for, for that. Us. Um, and um, I know he. He's happy to be back here too, just playing college ball here, you know. And um, I know he's excited being back, and uh, you know it should be very fun. But he's trying to uh, say it's just because yeah, he's from Australia. Love Australian guys, you guys are cool. I need to kind of tone that down, knowing that there's this yeah, extra Yeah, he good. They good because they're from Australia. Like what? Tone oh, what the 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 kicks. Uh, I think I'm trying try to kick Curry. <laughs> What I'm asking you are, are you aware of it? There seems to be extra scrutiny on it. Is there something that you can do to kind of make sure these things don't don't come up to people where even with how heard this about him before. You know, if I was aware of something, I wouldn't do it. Um, <laughs> I don't know across it. But basketball is basketball and you know, bodies react a certain type of way and you know, I don't really mind any scrutiny, it doesn't bother. I think me. Kevin Howard's talking about this, how he be kicking people in the neck. And he asked him why he's be kicking people. <laughs> and not losing his sleep, so life goes on. Uh, Danny Green. Him again? Basically on Kevin. Did that work very well? Like, Did you watch the game? Yes. What do you think? It didn't. It didn't work very well. So we'll, we'll have Danny grow four or five inches by Monday night. Uh, tell him to jump higher and move quicker. And we'll tell Kevin, don't be so good. Oh, man. What do you mean, what happened? What do you think, what happened? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I couldn't see the last one. Hold on. You couldn't see. You told me to be patient for time. What happened? What happened? You on your leg. Thank you. Don't ask me dumb questions. You don't answer to you. You think it was intentional? Did you see it? I saw what it a couple like? times. What a lot. Anybody touch him? I didn't, see it. I didn't see the replay there. Oh, you didn't see it? No. Why you asking about something? I just, I just saw the play live. Well, if you didn't see it, don't ask me a question. Damn. Don't ask me a dumb question. Obviously, it was intentional. Actually, it was intentional. Nobody touched me, fell over my leg, tried to hurt me. You know, but hey, that's how I go. You think that's something the NBA needs to look into? Hey, man, they'll see it and look at it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, you do not be playing with y'all. Stop playing with him. You probably should try hard to win that game. That would, that would be the urgency. Jeez, a whiz, guys. Come on. Jeez, a whiz. Think of a question. From being in this position against the Hornets two years ago. What? Think about the Hornets two years ago? You were in similar position last No, I won't think about that at all. These guys are grown men. They don't need me to say that. Remember the Hornets, fellas. Right. You know, really pull it together for game three. Maybe I'll talk about the Gilbert if I'm going to talk about the Hornets. I mean, you know, they're grown. They know what they have to do. They know they're down 2 0. And they'll come back and, and try to invest in game what three. The we'll win or we'll lose. Demari Carroll said that a player should never dive at another player's feet. Okay to dive for a basketball, but never to dive at another player's feet. In the case of Corver in game two, in the case of Horford tonight, did you feel that you were guilty of doing any such thing? Um, I got, I got it. I can answer if you want. I'll tell you got it. Uh, I saw the ball, I dived on the floor. If I stay on my belly, it's going to be a jump ball. So I protect the ball 
and kick it out to a teammate. On the other one, I'm boxing him out. LeBron he's pulling my off. left arm down. I'm, I'm trying to stay up, and he's just pulling me down. So, I mean, the, the tape's there. 20 points. Oh, I wasn't here with 14 play. rebounds. Three steals, three blocks, three assists. Kawhi Leonard, who are you, man? Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> Period. What the fuck you want me to say? I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm not of this earth. Like, what? Who are you? Oh, I'm Kawhi Leonard. What do you want me to say? Yeah, they be asking some random shit, but I'm convinced that they be trolling. Like, these reporters be trolling like shit. They be trolling Westbrook at this point because they know that, you know, he's going to get kind of worked up. And you know, give a smart ass answer. And they also be trolling the Spurs coach. <laughs> I've never seen this do it before, but after this video, I'm convinced they should be trolling him. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about the video. Let me know what other videos you want to react to, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!